Moving up the card to another early prelim. Journey Newson versus Frony Garcia. I am picking Frony Garcia to win this one. I think that KO, that win that he got in Dana White's Contender Series, is actually the only KO win on Frony Garcia's record, which uh, does kind of amaze me why a lot of people are picking him to win this one by KO. 52% picking Garcia to win by KO. He hasn't shown KO power until he took the short notice fight um, against Joshua Weems, when Joshua Weems was taking that fight on short notice. I do think Frony Garcia is going to win this fight, but I don't think he's going to win the fight by KO. Franny Garcia, before um, Dana White's Contender Series, what he really showed to me on the regional scene was when he was watching him, was just a lot of wrestling, a lot of decision wins, a lot of wrestling. He doesn't really throw any kicks as well. He's got that boxer wrestler style. He does have a great boxing game as well, and he does fight at Fortis MMA. Journey Newsom, I feel like, does actually have more power in the hands. He does have um, no wins in the UFC, unfortunately for him. He's got the no contest to Domingo Palate, but he does have the KO loss to Randy Coaster about a year and a half ago. And then Ricardo Ramos, he stepped in on short notice of, uh, for that fight. I think Anthony Pettis was like the original opponent for that. So poor Ricardo Ramos, instead of getting Anthony Pettis, he got a debuting guy. But moving on, man, I feel like Franny, Franny Garcia is going to mix the boxing with the wrestling. I know, I think the MMA guru picked him to win by KO in the first round, but I personally see this fight probably going the distance with Franny Garcia just utilizing his wrestling game that he has shown in LFA, that he has shown in the past, and just using his wrestling with his boxing to, to win a decision in this one here. I'm going with Franny Garcia decision. I feel like the the lines for this one are pretty accurate. You can actually get him at bet US at um, minus 160, which I think is pretty good. The over under is set at two and a half. Minus 265 for over two and a half, I think is a little bit risky. I think you're better off just playing Franny Garcia straight. If you're looking at the bet, Tapology is heavily um, siding Franny Garcia, and I'm picking Franny Garcia as well, but by decision in this one here.